Hello and welcome to Technique Tuesday. I'm doing this kind of late night for my late night crafters and I'm playing with embossing folders. I saw a recent video where someone had done a scene with the embossing folder that has the tree trunks. They had inked and stamped a kind of background so it looked like trees were behind the um, trunks and it was really cool. I don't have that embossing folder but it did give me some hints uh, to make some of the pro projects that I used to play with with the embossing folder a little bit easier and I played with it already once and this is with the um, kind of plaid embossing folder that we have right now that goes with the silver and gold uh, workshop your way card making kit and it's really cool so I'm going to kind of show you that but I'm going to use one of our retired um, embossing folders and one of the tips that I learned was to ink the side that has the name the brand name of the company that makes the uh, embossing folder and that will give you the perfect side for uh, what I'm doing where the background is going to be a color and the little parts, and this is no flakes, are going to stay white because I'm using white paper. So first thing I want to do is load up my uh, brayer, and if you can see a little bit, it takes a while to get it loaded. I'm using just a small piece of paper, so I think I can just go down the middle, and I want to just gently load it. I don't want to, um, or gently roll it, because I don't want to get it into the indentions of the snowflakes. I want them to remain white. So I just want to make sure I have a good amount of ink because I want it to kind of look like a sky and with snowflakes falling. So then we're going to, I'm going to put the paper on this side and then close it. I just found I didn't wiggle it as much that way. Then we're going to make our sandwich of our um, A plate, our B plate, and our second B plate. And then we'll run it through the cuddle bug. I have a cuddle bug, so you're going to wiggle a minute because my cuddle bug is on the same table that my camera is hooked to. I'm going to run that through. And let's see what we got when we unveil. And we're going to flip it over. And there you go. And it looks like snowflakes are falling on a beautiful sky. I really enjoyed that. Again, like I said, it's been a while since I've had out my brayer. And then I'm going to spritz my embossing folder. And then just using a paper towel, I'm going to clean it off. And I'll let that dry so it's not closed up wet. And then I'm going to bring back the first embossing folder that I played with. And as you can see, I was playing with raspberry in there. So it's got some raspberry going on. And then of course, um, clean your brayer. You may have to uh, take it and just run it under some water. Uh, the On my brayer, this piece comes out so then I can clean it really good. But you want to, you don't want to cross contaminate and you usually get quite a bit of ink on the brayer. But you need that to get a really good uh, image. And I'll put that over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm playing with the stamp set uh, Happy Heart. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, I use it a lot. And I am going to use the heart. It's kind of a squiggly heart. And I think I want to go back to the raspberry. And we're just going to see. Again, I'm going to stamp onto the part of the embossing folder that has the name. And I kind of want to stamp both on a raised square and the lines. And we're just going to do a couple of those. All right. And then we're going to put the paper in. Oh, we'll put it on this side and close it. I think I got most of it. And then we'll make our sandwich. And run it through the cuddle bug. see what we have. I kind of like that. 
and I probably should have done it on this one, but play with it, experiment, and find what you like. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'd love to see what you do with it. Thank you.